Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my Japan Chanel haul and if you are new to my channel, my name is M and this is Bass Lux and let's get started with the video. So, I went to Japan a few months ago, I've been promising to do this video but I haven't because I've been crazy busy, things have been just going in my life, you know what I'm saying? And if you can hear little noises in the background, it's because summer is just having the best time in my filming room right now and I really hope that she does not pee in my rug. Right, Summer? Okay, let's get started because I know, oh, come here. Say hi, guys. Hi, YouTube. My name is Summer. She actually just turned three, actually no, four a few days ago, almost a week ago. So hi, guys. All right. Mom's gonna film and you better behave yourself, okay? So let's get started. The first thing that I got while I was in Japan, I actually was not intending to buy anything from Chanel, but when I was there and I found this item, I knew that the only chance that I had to get it was there, there and then, because even when we were in Japan, this item was like gone. All the stores there, they have like Multiple Chanel stores actually, but within that Tokyo Ginza um, route or realm, there was only two or three left. So let me show you the item. Yeah, I left the box for this item because I don't want to um, deal with the customs fees and taxes or whatnot because the last time I went to Japan, I bought um, a few Chanel items and that was a regret because my dumbass admitted to actually buying stuff and I had to pay like $500 for taxes and that's ridiculous. Square mini in the caviar leather with the chevron pattern with silver hardware. Isn't she so pretty? Yes guys, yes. I actually have this mini in my collection. I've been dying to have a square mini in my collection for the longest time. But anyways, let's get on with this bag. So, when I first went to Chanel um, in Tokyo, actually I think it was in Gin yeah it, it was in Ginza. I saw the blue one of this, which is the one that Hello Sylvia has, Sylvia Jade. Oh my God, hi Sylvia! I'm like the biggest fan ever. But yeah, I fell in love with the mini a long time ago, even before it all like became this craze and whatnot, but there was never one available in the States and it was so hard to find. So when I saw this, I actually had it in my mind that I wanted a square mini in black because I have a square mini, not, not a square mini, a rectangle mini in the lambskin with soft gold hardware. And I've been meaning to add the square mini to my collection. So the first one I saw was the blue um, square mini with the I think yeah, it is chevron with the caviar leather. And then they had a few square minis in lambskin with a quilted or uh, quilted leather, but or it's a quilted pattern. But I just couldn't. I don't know. Something about it was just not right, and it wasn't what I was expecting. So this bag right here actually is kind of shiny. It has like a shinier um, caviar to it, if you could tell. I don't know if you guys could tell. And actually guys, I don't know if this sides should puff out like this. When I got this bag and then the displays, they did puff out. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like push it in so it's more square or leave it out. But yeah, it's pretty amazing that I actually own this bag now. Like how insane. So, this is what the straps look like. I mean, the bag looks like with the straps on. And let me do like a mod shot. So, this is what it looks like crossbody. Um, I like to wear my bags crossbody. I feel more comfortable with them being that. But if not, this is just what it looks like on one shoulder. And yeah, super amazing. Love this bag. I will do, I'll probably do like an in-depth review about this bag in later months to come, like after I used it a few times, but so far, so good. The only thing that I did notice though, and like I think I was just so over the moon about getting one, 
that I wasn't so keen on checking the bag itself was this leather. It has like this leather tab right here. Like where the, the leather meets for the hardware. It just looks so weird because it has that cut up like right there. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it does show through the rivet right in this corner right there. I notice it because I'm a freak and I notice like every little detail when it comes to handbags, especially the ones I actually do really, really like. And I think I have to mess with it more. I think it's just placement, but who knows? Let's move on to the next item. I picked up a small leather good and it is this card holder right here. So it's um, caviar leather with a quilted quilted um, pattern and it has silver hardware. So it pops up like so and it just says Chanel. This is actually made in Italy. It says it right there. And when you open it, it has one slip pocket and then like the main compartment here where you can put lots of things. And actually I've been enjoying this so much. And I found money in there, but I'm not gonna show you guys because it's weird. I found money inside here. So this is the authenticity card. I always keep it in any of my um, pieces. And the date code is red. <laughs> additional detail right here so it's just straight across with gold cc's enjoy that too and i actually have been looking for this one with the pocket in the back the one that jerusha has jerusha couture but i think she mentioned in one of her videos that that was an older model so i guess this is the newer one i'll take it though love 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 this item so it's my first ever venture with chanel footwear and these are what I got. So these are the Chanel Espadrilles in the color green. And they're size 38. So funny thing. I never thought I would be like the Espadrilles type of girl. Just because I just find it a little bit ridiculous to spend that much money about this hype or whatever, you know. But guys, when I found these, and I've actually worn this already. I've worn this three times. And this is what the bottom looks like. But they're so comfortable. Love them. Um, they actually had only this color in my size. They had the orange or this one, but they didn't have the orange in my size. So I got the green. Whatever I could get, I got it. And then the other one I haven't used. And I just put it in this um, packing cube that I got from the Philippines. I actually filmed my haul before I filmed this one. So, both the shoes come in this dust bag right here and it comes with a box, but as, I, as what I mentioned before, I left all the boxes and all those tags and whatnot in the Philippines and I just, I think they just threw them away. So, the shoes that I got are these, these espadrilles right here, the blue ones with a tweed with the blue CCs and I love it because it matches with my boy, with my... Um, old medium LeBoy bag with the caviar leather and the ruthenium hardware. So this is what it looks like. This is brand new. This is size 39 because for some reason the leather espadrilles and the tweed ones don't fit the same way because I mean it makes sense. The tweed does not stretch out. It's not very stretchy and the leather one is soft and it stretches out. So I needed a bigger size for this one and this was the only one they had at the store. Like everything was like sold out, it's crazy. So many dang people there. So each of the shoes come in and they're individual dust bags. So this is the other side, the other pair. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, that concludes my Chanel haul.